When you talk about genocide in Gaza, that's supposed to mean the mass slaughter of all the population. And yet, Israel's determined to make the population go up. They're really bad at genocide. I'm sure you've heard the name genocide, you know, mass murder. And the world press, the progressive world press, talks about all the time how Israel is slaughtering Palestinians and Judea and Samaria and Gaza and how they're wiping out the Palestinian population, that Israel deliberately rapes, tortures, and murders civilians, and Hamas did everything they could to keep Palestinians alive. Now, genocide, in a nutshell, is what Hamas did in southern Israel in October. They killed as many as they could. They videotaped it, bragged about it, publicized it, sent it all over the world. So Israel, on the other hand, tries to minimize casualties. As you've said, before they're going to bomb a neighborhood, they drop leaflets. Hey, get out. We're going after Hamas. We want you to live. Run away. No other army in history has ever done that. Here's something interesting. 1.5 million leaflets have been dropped in Gaza suggesting people in the North Fleet of the South, 900,000 Gazans did and are still alive. Let me show you what Gaza looks like. This is West Bank, Judea, Samaria, Gaza. It's not the concentration camp they say. Here's one of the leaders' mansion. You ever seen a house like that? It's more of a castle. Oh my goodness. You know how many pictures I have that look like that? Dozen. That's where the billions went. Look at that. Wow, that is that massive. Does that look like that's that's what you call oppression going on on the Palestinians? Does that look like apartheid? That's what you call oppression, Barry. Oh, that's <laughs> oppression like you can't believe. <laughs> wow. Right? Is that amazing? People don't realize it. The Israeli knocked the roof where they drop something on a roof so people run away instead of blowing them up works. There's all these statistics out right now, Will. Lots of them that talk about the average civilian to combatant ratio in war. Generally in wars, nine civilians die for every combatant. That's normal. The Americans and British think that's too high. And they've worked that down in some places like in Iraq when we invaded Iraq to three to one, three to five to one, actually. So five civilians die for every combatant. According to Israel's numbers, and Hamas's numbers, the death rate of non-combatants to combatants is two to one, the lowest in world history, because Israel has suggested that people move so they don't get killed, which is why British Colonel Richard Kemp calls the IDF the most moral army in the world. And yet today at The Hague, the trial of Israel is being started the war crimes trial because South Africa has accused Israel of slaughtering Palestinians. You know, the Palestinians that live in houses like that. Man. Hard to explain, isn't it? It really is. Yeah. I mean, this this type, this level of oppression, I mean, my goodness, it's just terrible. Look at to live like that, it must be terrible. I mean, I can't imagine. Someone has to clean it. Can you imagine what the utility <laughs> bill must be? Unless, of course, they get their utilities free from Israel. You know, hey, there it is.